Thank you for joining me. I'm Cynthia Mayhew, reporting on a research project for a biotech course at UConn. Scientists from the University of Guelph in Canada created the first so-called EnviroPig. Published in 2001, the team announced successful transgenic swine with an enhanced ability to digest most of the phosphorus from an abundant part of their diet, phytate. Researchers developed this pig as, quote, a unique biological approach to the management of phosphorus nutrition and environmental pollution in the pork industry. To create this pig, scientists inject PSP, APPA gene from E. coli bacteria and mouse DNA to a traditional pig embryo. This gene produces an enzyme called phytase, which will now form in the pig's saliva. With phytase aiding in their digestion of corn and other feed, Enviro pigs described in the research study showed up to 75% decrease of phosphorus in fecal matter than their non-transgenic counterparts. Reducing phosphorus levels in these little piggies manure can be a real win for the environment. Whether it is spread as fertilizer in agriculture or left in their pen for nutrient runoff is a big concern. Eventually, the abundance of phosphorus from a traditional swine fecal matter will end up in bodies of water resulting in what is known as an algal bloom. While this may seem like a good thing at first, the overwhelming bloom of algae uses up all the nutrients in the water then removes all oxygen during decomposition. This leaves behind dead zones, a toxic and eutrophic environment eliminating the community around it. Enviropigs have promised to reduce the likelihood of algal blooms in the future. The goal behind these transgenic pigs was to introduce them to a large scale porcine farm and eventually to be used for consumption. According to scientists, the enviro pig handlers, they look the same, act the same and behave just as the normal pigs. Though no one has dared to break the law and try to turn them into Sunday morning bacon, scientists say after extensive research on their internal organs and meat, no differences have been shown. Still, the environmental pigs and their creators face resistance from consumers. Unfortunately, as of April 2012, the university stopped work due to a lack of funds after being targeted by anti-GMO protests. Most were against the idea of genetically modified organisms as a whole, saying they are unnatural and even harmful to the environment. However, enviro pigs have done a swine job at proving those fears a load of manure. Back to you, Tian.